This is a heartbreaking article in Vox. A Nobel Prize winning physicist sold his medal for $765,000 to pay medical bills. Only in America. So Leon Letterman is his name. He won a prize in 1988 for his pioneering physics research. He discovered the Higgs boson uh, subatomic particle. It's also called the God particle. This guy discovered that. So he won the Nobel Prize in 1988. That's uh, my birth year. He won the Nobel Prize for that research. Uh, what happened was in 2011, he started suffering memory loss, and he eventually wound up in a nursing home. And um, he needed money to pay for his, uh, his medical condition. And he ended up selling the Nobel Prize for $765,000. Uh, it's it's heartbreaking. And again, this only happens in the U.S. This doesn't happen in other developed countries. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. If you get sick, you get help, full stop. That's it. In this country, medical bills is one of the top causes of bankruptcy. That's such a wild fact, and people, we never talk about it. I'm not sure I've ever seen, well, that's not true, maybe once or twice, I've seen a story in the mainstream media about, um... Somebody going through bankruptcy because of medical bills. I mean, that again, you want to talk about a national scandal, that is 10 times the scandal Stormy Daniels will ever be. I mean, people go bankrupt on a regular basis from medical bills. So you could do, you could live by the book, do everything right, and then you still end up going bankrupt for medical bills. Think about how fucked up and backwards of a system that is. That's what we have. Now listen to this. A day in an American hospital. You know what that costs? $5,220. You know what that is in Australia? $765. We're more than five times the cost of the Australian system. And by the way, their system ranks better than ours. Their health outcomes are better. Um, and it's less expensive, five times cheaper than what we have. It's better, and it's significantly cheaper, and everybody's covered. Here we have 29 million people that aren't even covered. 45,000 people die in the U.S. every year, up to 45,000. There's one study that says as low as 32,000, but <laughs> as low as 32, it sounds ridiculous to even say it. But between 32 and 45,000 people die every year in the U.S. because they don't have access to basic health care. You gotta change it, man. Medicare for all is the answer. And by the way, this is why you can't stop the, the wave of Medicare for all support. Now it's 70% of Americans, including a majority of Republicans, that support Medicare for all. 70% of Americans, including a majority of Republicans, that now support Medicare for all. Why? Because honestly, all you need to do is have a just a cursory understanding of the facts and you go, yeah, yeah I, I got it. I understand this one. It's not that hard. This one's not that hard. And now all the propaganda in the world can be lined up against this issue and it's still not, you're not going to hold down that wave because you're asking people the old, like, what do you, who do you believe, me or your lying eyes type of a question. So, we got to get it. I'm tired of reading stories like this, man. It breaks my heart. I had to sell a Nobel Peace Prize, a Nobel medal or Nobel Prize, I should say. He's a one for uh, physics, obviously, but he wanted had to sell a Nobel Prize in order to pay medical bills. Heartbreaking.